banking industry has a reputation for being fiercely competitive. But as the need to innovate has become more pressing, the industry has become more and more collaborative. Banks are forming blockchain consortiums and tapping into multi-dealer platforms in ways never thought possible a decade ago. But this new era of cooperation extends beyond the lenders themselves. Some are striking up partnerships with a full range of market participants, from clients to fintechs, multilaterals to employees with a great business idea. Banks are looking for partners to help create the future of finance. Through co-innovation, smaller players can leverage banks' networks and regulatory know-how. For the lenders, it's a way to experiment with cutting-edge technology and pinpoint customer needs. But as with any relationship, there can be bumps along the way. In this Viewpoint series, we visit Nordea headquarters here in Stockholm to speak with their innovation leaders and partners about the opportunities presented by this new open style of banking and how it complements their internal efforts to innovate. I start by asking Chief Digital Officer Ewan McLeod how high on the agenda digital transformation must be for any big bank today. So digital transformation has to be right at the top of almost any bank agenda uh, just because there is so much happening in the ecosystem, in the marketplace, the, the, the customers, in particular customer behaviour, the technology ev evolution is driving such a change in the way that people are banking, the way that banking services are being consumed and that customers are wanting to consume banking services that it has to be right at the top. We have to be running fast as an industry to make sure we can meet those expectations of the customer. And in pursuing its digital agenda, Nordea has embraced a partnership philosophy by collaborating with well, banks, clients, fintechs, others. Why is it important to work with such a broad range of stakeholders? And what have you learned so far on this sort of partnership journey? So the, the partnership is really important to Nordea. And, and perhaps the key learning that we've, we've, we've had to embrace is, is one that's perhaps unfamiliar for, for many many big institutions uh, or has been unfamiliar and that is we don't have a monopoly on good ideas. So historically I think we did. Uh, all of the industry was uh, if it's invented inside great and if it's invented, uh, if it's invented outside well then not, not so great. Uh, we've, we've, we've had to get over that and that's been a very important learning for us over the past few years is to say look um, other, other great ideas exist uh, outside the bank how can we bring them in? How can we partner? How can we reach out to the ecosystem? How can we benefit, bring the benefits of the ecosystem to our customers? And at a time when the tech giants and startups and potentially other players are offering traditional bank services, how important is it for banks to be willing to experiment with and even disrupt their own business models to remain relevant to clients? It's super important that we are in investing, we are testing, we are learning to, to to counter some of the challenges we see in the marketplace from some of the, the, the other big non-traditional non uh, players, but, but also because we, we have to run fast. We have to meet these customer expectations. And to do so, we need to test and learn. We can't be making assumptions that, oh, this, is, this will work, let's try it, let's just give it to the customers and see. Actually, it's more about testing with the customer, saying, what is it you'd like? How can we help you? What problems have you got? Because as technology is, uh, is developing and as the customer behavior is developing, the, need, the needs are changing. Um, so we're, we are borrowing from the, um, the, the tech giants you know, with their relentless um, uh, approach on testing, learning, evaluating really quickly. We, we've integrated that thinking into how we approach um, the, the, the ecosystem here in Nordea. And the bank has taken a multi-dimensional approach to digitization, so focusing on products and services, sort of entire value chain. Now customers and others like ourselves can see some of the results of what's changing in the front office, but what's happening in the background? What's happening that we don't see? Right, so, so when we're talking about the entire end-to-end -end process, it's the, the customer sees the front end, they, and, and they see the app, the, 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 the web bank, uh, and, and so on. And, and that's important, that's a really important element. But actually, it's also super important that we take care of the back end. So we've been working very, very heavily on the core banking systems, powering all of our, uh, our services to make sure we've got the right resilience, the right flexibility, the right optionality, so that when the, the customer demands are changing, we have the ability to, using our core back end systems, we are able to, to, to bring great services to the front end. Because there's only so much you can do with the app, the, the, the front end layer. 
uh, pretty quickly, you, you have to go deep into the technology to make things work. And for, for many, many banks, that, that's a difficult situation. And as the industry as a whole continues on its uh, digital transformation, what's the bank of the future going to look like? So the bank of the future, that's a, oh, a, a, a fascinating question. There. I, I, do you know what? I, I think, I can give you some, some perspectives. I think the bank of the future will be invisible. And, and I, no, I know that's uh, something we hear from a, a lot of people. That I really identify with that. Be invisible to me. I'm just thinking from my own uh, perspectives. I don't want to see you. I don't need to be um, interrupted at all until I do. Until I do. And that, I think, will be the interesting um, uh, element in the future is knowing when I want to speak to you, knowing when I need the advice, and when I just, I just want you to do it. Make it happen. Don't keep asking me for confirmation. Just make it happen. So I think the bank of the future will be customized to your, your exact precise needs. Um, invisible, I think, is an important element, and, you know, and there when you need it. And then I think... Um, I think the, the bank of the future should also be providing stunning insight to you. And we're working hard with that there to, to make sure that um, you know, your budget is automatic, that you know, if, you, if you need some assistance, it's there when, when, when you need it. Uh, and to do a lot of the low-level thinking for you. Ewan, thanks very much for sharing your insights. Thank you.